Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 71 Focus of the Auction House Seeing as everyone had left, Hammer Trading sat in his chair, paralyzed. Both his eyes had a lifeless look in them. There was actually someone who was selling forging design for bronze equipment at the auction house? How was this possible? Hammer Trading had no way of understanding such behavior. It was as foolish as literally handing the keys to a treasury filled with gold to someone else. Only a brain-dead person would do such an idiotic action. No, they must be trying to trick me. Hammer Trading abruptly stood up, calling out the official form. He wanted to make these people regret. He wanted to rip them off for daring to look down on him. However, when Hammer Trading looked at a few pinned discussion threads, he became instantly dumbfounded. There really was an idiot who was selling a forging design. Bronze equipment forging design appearing in the auction house. Pictures as evidence available. Clicking on the thread to take a look, Hammer Trading's mind went thoroughly blank. The forging design was actually for the Glimmer chestplate. It was the equipment previously sold by the Black Flame Forger. Everyone was very aware of how good the attributes on this item were. It was an absolutely top-tier item. If a first-rate guild were to get a hold of this forging design, they would not need him. This was because fame served little purpose to a first-rate guild. Previously, he dared to act presumptuously because he learned the forging design for the Savage Chestplate. Now that others had a better forging design, who would pay him any heed? In the discussion, many first-rate guilds declared the forging design to be theirs, and they would fight whoever dared competed with them over it. Hence, everyone had started paying attention to the problem of the ownership of this forging design. There was no longer anybody who paid attention to hammer trading. Instead, each and every one of them was joyful over his misfortune, making fun of his end. This incident led everyone to admire the mysterious player who was selling the forging design. This mysterious player's means were extremely great, and people could not help but praise him. There was practically no blood seen when he killed. He only used a piece of paper to cause hammer trading, the rising star that received the envy and admiration of tens of thousands, to fall from his heavenly altar, tumbling down into the bottomless abyss and never being able to climb back up. Hammer Trading already bore a bitter hatred towards this player who sold the forging design. Just when his life of luxury was within his reach, it was all destroyed. Moreover, it was destroyed by a person who was brain dead. Fear not a god like rival, but fear a pig like ally. Now, that saying needed an additional verse, and fear more a foolish passerby. Hammer Trading's eyes had currently turned crimson, his face extremely ashen. His expression alone was enough to devour a person. Not good. I definitely must buy it no matter the price. As long as I buy it, I can get back all the advantages. At that time, not only will I have the Savage Chestplate, but I will also have the Glimmer Chestplate. When that time comes, those first-rate guilds will have to prostrate and beg before me. Hammer Trading's current expression was just like a gambler who lost badly. He placed all of his hopes on buying out the Glimmer chestplate forging design. Thinking up to this point, Hammer Trading was no longer able to hold himself back as he swiftly rushed towards the auction house. However, it was not just Hammer Trading who was rushing towards the auction house. There were also the upper echelons of various guilds of various towns under the influence of White River City. All of them wanted to purchase the forging design. After all, everyone knew how powerful the Glimmer chestplate was. Owning the forging design was the equivalent of owning a mountain of gold. This incident caused an uproar at the auction houses of the various towns in White River City. The auction houses became unusually lively as players pushed against one another inside the building. The auction houses were filled to the entrances, making it hard for players even to enter. Meanwhile, the competition for the Glimmer Chestplate forging design entered into full swing. Every one of the guilds had bid high prices. Within ten short minutes, the price for the item had reached one gold coin. That's right, it was one gold coin. That was practically a large guild's entire fluid funds. In such a way, 
the price of the forging design constantly rose without any signs of stopping. Guild leader, I don't have enough money anymore. What do we do now? Crap, how can that be? I gave you one gold and twenty silvers. How can that not be enough? But, it's selling at one gold fifty-six silvers now. Crap, these people are insane. It's just a forging design. Hold on a bit. I'll immediately ask for some money from the money farming team. I don't believe we can't get it. As the price of the glimmer chestplate forging design rose, bit by bit, each of the various guilds was constantly raising funds. They contacted money farming teams, their guild members, and in the end, even purchased from the virtual trade center. Meanwhile, Sher Fong, the cause of all this madness in White River City, had just comfortably arrived at the library. Revered Miss Charlin, I have brought the items you requested. Can you dispel the curse for me now? Sher Fong sincerely took out two gold coins, thirty pieces of moonstones, and the teleportation magic orb. After seeing the glittering gold coins, Charlin nodded her head in satisfaction. However, similar to the Holy Mother, Charlin shook her head and said in a pitiful tone, Adventurer, you have truly astonished me. You managed to gather all the needed materials in such a short period. If I had known earlier, I would have told you that the moon drip ceremony possessed tears. Tears? Sure Fong looked at Charlin's regretful expression and he could not help but feel slightly odd about the situation. It was as if he was a mouse being stared at by a cat. Mm. Charlin sighed, saying, The moon drip is a very ancient ceremony. In fact, aside from having a dispelling effect, there are still other effects. However, for convenience's sake, the ceremony was only used to dispel curses after constant alterations, while the other effects were greatly weakened. If you pay another three gold coins, I can gather all the needed materials to carry out the complete moon drip ceremony. Aside from helping you dispel the curse, it will also give you an unimaginably big harvest. Won't you reconsider it? Big harvest. When Charlin uttered these two words, her voice sounded exceptionally loud, making it sound as if this big harvest was something amazing. However, Sherfong knew that the Charlin before him had some kind of see through skill. Otherwise, how could she have guessed that there were still three gold coins inside his bag? He already wasted three gold coins to dispel the curse, and he did not wish to become a sucker. As if having seen through Shurfang's thoughts, Charlin added, Adventurer, do you know of the legend about the demon-slaying sword saint, Celsius? Legends has it that Celsius was cursed by the great demon king, undergoing torment for a long period. However, after experiencing untold hardships, he finally discovered a method to dispel the curse, which was the moon drip. After undergoing the moon drip ceremony, he obtained a new life. He received matchless strength from the ceremony, thereby allowing him to defeat the great demon king and becoming a legendary sword saint on the continent of God's domain. Don't you think the sword saint Celsius was very mighty? As she was speaking, Charlin's doll-like eyes constantly snuck peeks at Sherfong. She constantly let out lamented sighs at the mention of Sword Saint. Sherfong suddenly became speechless. Watching Charlin's actions, it was clear they were saying, The Sword Saint is beckoning at you. Youngster, won't you give it a go? Sherfong glanced at Charlin's face, full of smiles, and his heart filled with helplessness. This Charlin was a diamond salesperson. Although Charlin possessed an unruly temperament and criminally attractive body, asking for six gold coins was just a huge scam. Six gold coins. That was equivalent to 36,000 credits. Very well. His heart was moved. If he could become a sword saint in the future, it would all be worth it. The new wouldn't come if the old didn't go. Esteemed Miss Charlin, I wish to try the complete moon drip ceremony. Will there be any danger? Sher Fong unwillingly dug out another three gold coins. After receiving the gold coins, Charlin happily smiled as she said, You can be at ease, adventurer. Although this is my first time, my skills are very good. Even my teacher praised me as a genius. Let us begin right away.